You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. The fascinating land of Odisha is known for its varied cultures and traditions that are celebrated with much fanfare all around the year. Ranging from Puri's Rath Yatra to Bhubaneshwar's temple festivals, the state never fails to leave its visitors awestruck with its enamoring fiestas. Recently, it witnessed the 43rd edition of Baisakhi festival where the conglomeration of various cultures occurred under one roof. Take a look. Powerful beats of drums, dholes and folk dances rocked the Odisha's capital Bhuvaneshwar as it hosted the 43rd edition of Baisakhi festival, a cultural extravaganza that marks the happiness of New Year's arrival. Held at Ravindra Mandap, the three-day fete was organized by Chinta Uchetna, a socio-cultural organization that was established in 1980. The festival was celebrated in a grand manner with several presentations given by the artists in presence of Lord Jagannath. This Pandi is the Jagannath Ji's Parampara, Odisha's Parampara. And here is a new function of the new year. So in the new year, Mahaprabhu Jagannath is the Pandi. This is the same thing that we do in Baisakhi. And this is the same thing that Mukti Mandap Pandit Sabha is happening with the Pandit Sabha. We don't do this, we don't do this. जो महाप्रभु आते हैं वो मंदिर से आते हैं आप लोग ने देखा है कि कैसे पैंडी हुआ सारे पंडा लोग भी आए थे और जैसे पुरी में होता है उतना तो ऐसा नहीं हो सकेगा लेकिन उसी का थोड़ा बहुत झलक यहाँ पर आते हैं रेंजिंग फ्रॉम ओडिसी घोड़ा नाच टू भरतनाट्यम मणिपुरी टू कुचिपुड़ी अ नंबर ऑफ क्लासिकल डांस स्टाइल्स फॉर प्रेजेंटेड ड्यूरिंग दी फेस्टिवल वाइल सम ऑफ द आइटम्स फॉर इम रेड दर्स Others cater to the popular taste. An award ceremony was also organized by Chinta Uchetna, wherein veterans in different fields of arts and culture from India and other countries were felicitated. A major highlight of the event was the performance by the Srijan organization that performed a beautiful Odyssey number. हमारा आज का प्रस्तुति था माधव भजनम जो कि जगन्नाथ जी को ही एक ट्रिब्यूट है और ओडिसी तो उनके लिए ही प्रसिद्ध है तो इसीलिए हम लोग दिस इज़ अ वेरी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी कि हम लोग पहंडी के टाइम ही हम लोग अपना ऑफरिंग दे पाए और नृत्य के रूप में दे पाए ये हम लोगों के लिए सौभाग्य की बात है और आज का जो वैशाखी फेस्टिवल है ऑर्गेनाइज बाई चिंताओ चेतना उसके लिए बहुत ही ज़्यादा वो हमें अपॉर्चुनिटी दिए हैं उसके लिए बहुत ही ज़्यादा उनको धन्यवाद अर्लियर द फेस्टिवल वॉज कंसीव्ड एज अ प्लेटफॉर्म टू शो केस द मेरियड आर्ट फॉर्म्स ऑफ ओडिशा बट लेटर ऑन इट वॉज मेड ओपन टू ऑल काइंड ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल आर्ट फॉर्म्स इन द कंट्री ऑर्गेनाइज फॉर लास्ट मैनी ईयर्स द फेस्टिवल हैज बिकम अ मेजर फीचर इन द कल्चरल कैलेंडर ऑफ द सिटी एंड अ कलरफुल सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ आर्ट एंड कल्चर Indian festivals are a show of the multicultural religious bond which is shared between different religious communities. An example of this unshakable bond was recently witnessed in the southern city of Madurai where Muslim tailors stitched clothes of Hindu devotees for the grand Chithirai festival. Take a look. Festivals in India are not just a way of merry making but also play a significant role in bringing together people of all religious faiths at a single spot. Recently, the grand festival of Chittirai in Madurai city witnessed a sea of devotees from different faiths coming together and rejoicing the occasion. 
Adding a flavor of religious unity to the grand event, the costumes of devotees for the procession of Lord Kalagar was made by Muslim tailors. Paramuna Tarambaraya Nanga Dekina, Tata and Gappa, Banane, with the Mai Muna Tarambaya Alabatu. Nine doors from Tirla Lanala, doors from Tirla and Larga and Ranga and Birko. Uncle and the Jaji and Matta Adila and Langlega, happy other Ganglega. Along Embadam, some of the Maida and Gavala Patur, and Alang as a Patio Nubertina. A laver, a mother of Mata Gana, Lurkarang Alarm on the Ain Boranga. A Muslim Marga with the Angla, Brion Nanigilla. A laver on the Ain Bong Lubertina, a mother, some of the Angla, Nubertina, and Shala. Tailors from the Muslim community are involved since generations in designing these special costumes. This year, the celebrations of the festival were special as they were organized at such a grand level after the long pandemic break. The Chitti Rai festival celebrates the celestial wedding of Goddess Minakshi, an incarnation of Goddess Parvati and Lord Sundareshwar, an incarnation of Lord Shiva. The procession of Lord Kalagar is one of the main events of the festival. It begins from Algar Kovil in Madurai and ends at Ramayar Mandapam on the banks of Vagai River. People irrespective of their religion participated in this religious ceremony. It is an example like this that showcases the beautiful bond of brotherhood and unity that prevails in the entire length and breadth of the country. Now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Six across India celebrated the birth anniversary of Guru Arjan Dev, the fifth Guru in Sikhism, by paying a visit to a holy shrine of Golden Temple in the northern state of Punjab. पेद पावनु मिटा के उच्च निशुद्ध छात्रु मिटा के एक संजीव वालता दास असी पैगाम सारे अंदर बिच फैलाइए ताँके आज जो समाज दे बिच कृतियाँ फैल रही हैं ने उन कृतियाँ नू खत्म की ता जा सके This year marks the 459th birth anniversary of Guru Arjan Dev. The sixth scripture of Adi Granth was compiled officially by him for the first time. Arjan Dev preached unity among all castes and creeds of the society. There is a total of 10 gurus in the Sikh religion. The religion has its roots in the preaching of Guru Nanak who was the first guru. The Indian Navy launched the sixth and final indigenously built Scorpion submarine. The submarine name Vakshi Rock Project 75 was launched at the Mezagon Dock Ship Builders Limited shipyard after prayers and rituals. भारत की छठी स्कॉर्पियन क्लास सबमरीन वाक्शीर का लॉन्च हुआ है। ये हमारे देश के लिए बड़ी खुशी की बात है कि लगातार एक के बाद एक छह सबमरीन हमने अपने ही देश में बनाके अपनी नेवी को समर्थन सुपुर्द की है। The submarine that has been named after the sandfish will be sent for sea trials before being delivered to the Indian Navy next year. Veteran Bollywood actor Anil Kapoor, his son and actor Harshwadhan Kapoor and actress Fatima Sana Sheikh launched the trailer of their upcoming Netflix drama thrill film Thar in India's showbiz capital Mumbai. You can't say that it is, this is a pure, pure uh, western. It's, uh, it, it is, it's got uh, love, it's got passion, it's got uh, violence, it's got suspense. 
इट्स गॉट इट्स अ थ्रिलर तो यू नो ये सारी चीज़ें हैं बिकॉज आज की फिल्म है ये एंड डायरेक्टर और और राइटर ने कोशिश की है कि टूडेज यंगर जनरेशन कैन रिलेट टू इट Actor Satish Kaushik, Jitendra Joshi, and Mukti Mohan, along with director Raj Singh Chaudhary, were also in the attendance at the trailer launch event. The dark western tale has been shot in the sandy terrains of desert state of Rajasthan. It brings to life the journey of a cop when an otherwise dormant city is riddled with murder and corruption. And now we will take you to the 42nd Urs of Chansa Baba in Midnapore city of West Bengal which was attended by people of different religious communities. Cutting across the religious line devotees throng the darga of Chansa Baba in Midnapore town of West Bengal. The darga witnessed a number of pilgrims who came together in the spirit of humanity and commemorated the Urs or death anniversary of the Sufi saint. During Urs devotees including women and children offered prayers and holy chadars at the shrine. Bolchen so, yeah. je amar kache jei ashbe ami tar mono ichha purno korbo karon ami hindu keu chini na ami musliman keu chini na ami se etai chini ami manush ami o manush hindu o manush musliman o manush ekhane kono jati bhed nei. This was the 42nd Urs of the Sufi saint. During the Urs of the saint devotees from nearby cities of Kolkata, Tamrok, Haridwarpat and other visited the shrine to seek the blessings of the saint. For years Darga has been standing strong as an epitome of brotherhood as its caretaker is a Hindu man named Chamat Setua who is taking care of it since 1980. Aaj Bashari Baba Janmadin Urus hisabe palon kora pochur lok jon bai chita ache dui sampraday dupore prottek bishoshudhar khana aaj to bishal bhabe lok jon roiche ba हार्मनी Let's move on to India's showbiz capital Mumbai that recently hosted the 40th edition of Hunar Hat an initiative of the Ministry of Minority Affairs the fiesta aims to uplift the artisans craftsmen and traditional culinary experts of the country in Mumbai Hunar Hat presented a wonderful confluence of craft culture music and food to the visitors have a look organized with the team craft cuisine and culture the 12 day long hunar hat in mumbai became a one stop shop for credible and high quality swadeshi products aimed at providing market exposure and economic impetus to artisans and craftsmen of the country the event saw a participation of about 1000 artisans from over 30 states and union territories this year from handmade cloth bags to bronze and bamboo home decoration items a number of products were displayed at the hut leaving visitors spoiled for choice besides being a platform to preserve protect and promote indigenous products the event is also an opportunity to meet the faces behind the meticulously made products ऐसा एक मतलब एक बहुत कल्चरल हेरिटेज से भरा हुआ है आप सब जानते होंगे तो वहाँ का जो मेन आइटम है कांसे का जो हैंडमेड यूटेंसिल्स है कांसे का और पीतल का इन दोनों को हम प्रमोट कर रहे हैं क्योंकि अभी ये जो युग में ये मशीन जो मशीन से जो तैयार होने वाले जो बर्तन आ गए जैसे कांसे भी आ गया और पीतल भी आ गया तो अभी लोग इसको मतलब पूरा भूल चुके हैं जबकि ये चीज़ें उससे ज़्यादा क्वालिटेटिव है स्ट्रॉन्ग है और हेल्थ के ऊपर इन सब का बहुत ज़्यादा बेनिफिट रहता है जो हैंडमेड चीज़ें होते हैं As no festival or event in India is complete without food, Hunar Hat also set up a number of stalls offering several delectable items to relish. 
from Indian street food to famous Hyderabadi biryani to deserts. There was something for everyone. Hunar hearts are being organized in all parts of the country with the resolve of vocal for local and strengthen the idea of Atmanirbhar Bharat. पहली बार मैं यहाँ आया हूँ तो ऐसा लग रहा है कि पूरी भारत इकट्ठा एक जगह हो गई है मैंने जो हम लोग बचपन में पढ़ते थे कि विविधता में एकता और जो डाइवर्सिटी इन इंडिया वो रियली वो चीज मुझे आज दिख रही है और ये तो मैं पूरा श्रेय हम नरेंद्र मोदी जी को देना चाहेंगे हमारे नकवी जी को देना चाहेंगे मतलब कि चाहे खाने का कोई आइटम हो या कपड़ा हो पहनाव हो किसी भी स्टेट का किसी भी छोटे जगह का लोकल पर वोकल जो मोदी जी का जो ये आवाज है ना वो बुलंद हो रही है वो दिख रही है और मुझे लगता है पूरे भारतवासियों को इसको सपोर्ट करना चाहिए और आगे बढ़ना चाहिए और देसी चीज़ों को यूज करना चाहिए विदेशी को त्याग हम भारतीयों में इतना हुनर है इतना टैलेंट है कि हम लोग पूरे वर्ल्ड को अपने काबू में ले सकते हैं बिसाइड्स प्रमोटिंग क्राफ्ट एंड फूड Hunar Hat also enticed the visitors with its musical and cultural program. The circus shows remained the major attraction at the 40th edition of Hat as around 35 circus artists performed daily. Renowned artists of the country like Pankaj Das, Anu Kapoor, Altaf Raja and many more who have performed at different hunar hearts across the country were also felicitated at the event by the Union Minority Affairs Minister Mukhtar Abbas Naqvi. Hunar hat mein jahan ek taraf hamare dastkar, shilpkar, kaarigar, kalakar ye to hai hi. Hamare desh ki jo आत्मा है वो संगीत है कला है और हुनर हाट में हमारे देश के तमाम बहुत बड़े बड़े बहुत उभरते हुए बहुत जाने माने कलाकार अपने अद्भुत अपनी शानदार कला का प्रदर्शन हर दिन करते हैं Just within a short span of 6 years, Hunar Hearts have been successful in providing employment opportunities to more than 9 lakh 50000 artisans and craftsmen across the country, among which 50% are women. They are held as part of series of 75 Hunar Hearts that are being organized under Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav to celebrate India's 75 years of independence. And in the end we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Growing edible crops used to be so hard for Kazi Zana Pijo in drought prone southern Madagascar that she would often have nothing but wild plants and cactuses to feed herself and her children until she started growing pigeon peas. The legumes known scientifically as cajunus are being promoted by CTAS, a local non-governmental organization dedicated to improving agriculture in the region because they are drought resistant, highly nutritious and good for the soil. Nambula kura hafara te talua fetsi na moka tsitane. Lea fia msa nambula kwa mbati rele ya mbati zane te tena na moka tsena beza kwa dada fulu. Ie te tena fihi nako. CTAS encourages farmers to switch to pigeon peas and provides training to support them. Although an increasing number including Zana Pijo have made the change without CTAS simply because they saw the success of others as a first step farmers are encouraged to plant only pigeon peas in neat rows perpendicular to the direction of the wind this helps halt erosion and over time replenishes the soil later farmers can add other plants in between their rows of pigeon peas Zana Pijo now grows sorghum maize wheat and watermelons
Japanese company Panasonic has developed a sustainable smart town in Suta city of Osaka prefecture. It is the third following Fujisawa and Tsunashima towns which were both built in the Kanagawa prefecture. This Suta sustainable smart town was developed by the cooperation among residents, local government, administration, university and partner companies. そして暮らしと仕事で皆様のウェルビーイングへのお役立ちを通じてお一人お一人の幸せの力になることをお誓い申し上げます。このような目指す姿を踏まえ、地球環境問題の解決と誰もが心身ともに幸せな暮らしを
सब्सक्राइब टैग टीवी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द नोटिफिकेशन बटन